Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. Welcome back, it's your boy Heater and the flow sick with the whole feature. It's your boy Hussey, you know that we live, not dropping like any, be sure to subscribe. We're back, reacting to One Piece, and believe it, we're truly excited to witness the legend of Luffy, cause he's on a mission to prove he's the king of the pirates. Much love to St. Pablo, 98, thank you for giving your pledge. Now we're not for the track, it's time to react, we're ready for what happens next. Yeah, look at that fist. Big fist. It's the biggest the fist. It's all the whole island, all the mm. Gashima. He could punch the red line like that. Uh, Do that many elephant guns? Yeah. And gear five, break up hey, the red line. I'm telling you, kiddo, you better move it out the way. Right. I am not playing with him. Yeesh. <sighs> yeah, I no hope choice. so. Okay. I've had no success all night. <laughs> <laughs> it's all on the line, buddy. Hey, we ain't got time for that right there. Look at this. <clears throat> <sighs> Holding on to him, too. Yeah, he jacked up like a little toddler. <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm sure he could break free, though. He better break free, then. He better break free, then. It's ah! spiritual. Ah! Run it. I am not a hoe. Get your hands off me. Oh, made it hot. Get off me. <laughs> Uh, I'm right here. Uh, Pull up. Ooh. Uh, a barrier. Uh, huh? Odin. Mm. It's prophetic. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, I did that. I'm that guy. Look at me. <laughs> mm. I killed the hero. Ooh. Uh, Dang, change the atmosphere? What? <laughs> oh, it's too hot over here. Mm, this is where he's making his fatal mistake. Yeah. Oh, he using just... a logic that he was just on him about. Uh, Your hockey versus my devil fruit. Yeah, he's melting off part of the horns of Anagashima just by touching it with his yeah. tail. To hell with this castle. So he's feeling great about it. Mm. He's melting away many hands with this, I see. Uh, Ooh. Uh, oh. <sighs> I'm good. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, that advanced stuff. Right. Ryu on that thing. Mm hmm. Oh, he better move on to Gashiba. Because everything behind Kaido going to feel that. That's perfect. Without touching you. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Speed. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Come here. Oh. Oh, yeah. He accepted the challenge. Yeah. Uh, Big Conqueror's Collision. Oh, send it. Send it. Push. Oh. Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> he rode that wave. <laughs> yeah. Water. Oh no, the fight up there. Yeah, they need some of that water restoration. They though. do. Yeah, they knock him the care. f out, bro. <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, he can't believe it. That's that Ryu glow up there. Look at that go. Mm. Ooh, Hiyori. Mm. Mm. Oh, reminiscing. It was all for this moment. Right to the projects. The air. <clears throat> Saw that coming. Yeah. He was loving it. I wonder if that's the time when uh, Toki hurt her <sighs> leg, trying to defend Momo or Hiori. One of them. And then Odin was out of town, came back, raged out. Uh, yeah. Oh, we chose war. Oh yeah, we crashed out. Oh yeah. Uh, so everybody else died, and then he got whooped, and then started bombing in the Bisu. All right, went home to the fam. Because he was out here. All right. Daimos turning up. Yep. Psh, big dog came out and shut it down. Did it really? Just squad wiped the whole battlefield. Mm hmm Daimos and all. Dang. Easy dub. Oh. Mm. oh Armageddon. No. Oh, no. 
everywhere. Score white. Easy money. Imagine him saying that. Facts. You can't protect nothing either. You got body that's trying to set stuff on fire. Right. Tinged. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, he killed that, though. Yeah, he got demonic with that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got range, man. He does. got a great voice actor. Right. Can't knock him. His character's a weak scumbag, but he kills it every time. Yeah, man. man. I think he helps out a lot with that. Makes you hate him more. Got their souls leaving and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because the pollution had everything jacked up. The water, the soil. Thirsty. I'm going to take a sip. Yeah, that was the end of him. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, no. Just sitting like that. That's tough. Oh. Pow. Oh, no. Oh. That's tough. Dang. Lost their souls, too. She died with the baby on her back. Still alive. Yeah. That's terrifying. That's true, ain't nobody coming to help. Facts. Yeah, you should have been scrapping with the Dimos. Oh. <laughs> like Game of Thrones. Mm hmm The dawn is coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, they was waiting for the dawn. That's why they kept working. Yeah. But that winter was harsh. Sheesh. Harsh. Years worth. Days Dang, and nights. didn't make it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. She was living still. Yeah, baby. Hey, you got to get up, mama. Oh, right, you gotta run from that darkness. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was the finesse, mm -hmm. the smiles. They are already about to starve to death. Let's yeah. feed them these leftover smiles. Played on their vulnerabilities. Oh, they was down. There ain't no water or nothing. Right. How y'all even make these fruits? I'm taking it. Ooh. Mm. Dang, from Orochi himself. Mmm, the energy. Ooh. That is dark. Oh. And so I'm still dying. Kind of look pissed. <laughs> yeah. Not entertained at all. Yeah, get him off the block, man. Ooh. Is she about to turn up and save herself? She's got the blicker do on her. Come on, he already do it. Mmm. He's all smiled up. Yeah. Oh, at the grave site. E. Kill him. Got him. Hit him up again. Hold on. I thought she did, but... It was Sean when she got him the first time? What was that? Right, you pulled up on me. Naturally. Y'all the aggressors. The oppressors. Those were <clears throat> solid, too. He deserved every one of them. Dang. I'm fighting back. Mm -hmm. Come here, ma'am. Oh, she's calm. Well, get this dub then. Mm-hmm. She cut like oh. Odin, I promise. Oh, come on. Mm-mm. That can't be me. Come on. Somebody's pulling up. A retainer. Look at that. Um, he already feels that death. Yeah. She hold him with the look. Yeah. Mm. Mm, get oh, that out yeah. of here. Push through then. Come on, Hillary. Robin. Ooh. What the hell is going on? All oh, this. Nah. She about to slap him? Stop. Ooh, what she do? Oh, Dendro. He pulled up. Well, turn up then. Get him out of here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Cut his head off. Mm -hmm. On his job. He been waiting for, for that. Oh, yeah. I got you, baby girl. Because she was about to die. Dang, I was hoping she would pull something out of her. Bro, I thought Robin was here. <laughs> they took them hands like that for a second. I thought Dang. Robin was about to save her. That must have been his last life. Yeah, I hope so. You gotta hit him again. Um, um, I guess that was the nation's arms wrapped up in the prophecy of the winter and the dawn coming. Oh, the pain and suffering. Yeah. Mm. Oh, all the souls that was getting sent to the heavens mm -hmm. when it was dying. We got a whole lot of, what to call boats, ships yeah. out here. Move it, son. How? Ah, oh, don't do that, Momo. Oh, no. Make a player too. You can do it. Mm. <laughs> Went from serious to lighthearted. Mm. 
Oh, that is counting on you, man. You gotta move it. Let's go. Right, you're Odin, son. Oh yeah, just By hit it then. Yeah, don't do it. Flame cloud up, son. Who? Oh, Hamlet, Kinemon, Kiku? Mm. <laughs> Barely. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, never die. They need to hear that. Mm. It is prayer time now. Facts. To the sun god, Nika. Kill Kaido. He gotta go. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kaido's about to be gone. It's on its way. It will never end. You gotta finish him, bro. Mmm. Yeah. It's like Kaido's inside that dragon. It's like Kaido was yelling from the forehead. I saw. Him. So he made a big flame dragon. Yeah, like he's riding it like a stand. Right. Oh, he said, yeah, I'm gonna melt your fist away. But fortunately for me, my big dog, he taught me how to touch something without touching something. Yeah, he did. So he run did. it. <laughs> he let him know. Dang, the hope and the prayers and the sail ships, everything's going to Luffy right now. Finally, Orochi got cut up out of here. They showed us all the exploits from beginning to end, showing babies dying, families getting sabotaged by smiles, and it's all a joke. I'm glad they let Dendro do something extra. True, that was his big win so far. But see, it wasn't a fair cut for him because we had to fight Kaido first. Respect to them for taking the biggest task way above their pay grade and you know unfortunately we didn't get to see the nine really turn up. Doji. I expected to see more from Doji. Yeah that's it. Doji and Dendro for sure. Especially them too. But we saw Cat Viper and Duke. I knew to expect great things from them. Yeah. So they let them get bodied and then get big boy dubs. Duke against Jack. Yep. Major. Cat versus Petto. Major. You know what I'm saying? Those are big wins. Big wins. But Denjiro didn't have that defining moment. And even now, Orochi, you know, we saw Orochi get bodied by every single one of the nine. I feel like there was a point in time he set the place on fire and they ran to each other in the hallway. Orochi tried it and Denjiro ended up in. Everybody did. Like, they was cutting off multiple heads at once. Oh, the whole At the same went. time, Rizo was getting dubs on him. Oh, yeah, he lost He got jumped by the nine and lost all the heads besides one, maybe. Maybe this last one here. Mm -hmm. People been praying towards Luffy for a long time throughout this whole show, you know. They always put their hopes in Luffy because he's the last hope, the only hope they have. It's just crazy how you see things now with Luffy being prayed towards and he's the sun god. That could be captivating his spirit. You know, we always see Luffy get charged up and re-energized by the energy, whether people are gambaraying. He hears all of that, even when he's unconscious. Whenever, like, Nami needed help. She had to hit me with the help me, Luffy. You know what I'm saying? Or Maybe Usopp. Hearing Usopp's cry and plea when he was fighting Rob Lucci. And, yeah. you know, when Luffy knows that people are putting their hopes and prayers and dreams on him, that's when he turns mm -hmm. up the most. And that could possibly be the essence of him. Just him in general. That's why he's perfect for this model. You know what I'm saying? He's perfect for this model. Right. That's why they, they go hand in hand. That's why he's the ultimate candidate for this. That's the essence of Luffy's character. But now it's hitting even harder seeing people praying to him like they've always been doing. Right. And he don't even do it for the prayers. Like, he don't want nobody to worship him. He's already on his way anyway. Right, right. He's here for a reason to begin with. Just have a plate ready for me. That's all I care about. For real, for real. The party. <laughs> the banquet. It's party, but if you really want to make me happy, bring your refrigerator on board the ship. Yeah. That's all I need. Just <laughs> take sacrifices. Yo, it's Monkey VP 17. We appreciate your pledge. Now we're not for the track. It's time to react. We're ready for what happens next. Ooh. Mm. Let's go. Mm. Get some of this Kaido backstory. Right. Momo. Kurizami Momo. Yeah. Me, uh, young age. At the age of five. Mm. Young demon. Emperor already at this young man? Oh, nah. okay, okay. At 10. He's the strongest. <laughs> Maybe here. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> He was younger right there, I guess. Uh -huh. I saw them shoes. I was like, is that Marco? <laughs> <laughs> Vodka 46. Kingdom. 46 years ago. Ah, uh, that's it's, where he was from. Uh, mm. So we paying outrageous taxes to the Celestials wherever he from. Oh, and they got us hemmed up. Mm, the man. Ooh. 
Oh, that's how he got in the custody of the Navy then. That scooped him up. How did we get him in chains to begin with? Mm. Oh, he's huge compared to those little people. Mm. He was coveted. Uh, they saw him, with him Yeah. for a reverie. Right, trying to get that cloud up. Yeah, that's tough. So those were noble songs. Huh? We're trying to get into nobility. Yeah, for real. Pulling a gold kingdom or something. Mm. <laughs> mm. Trying to bite his fist off. Yeah. Right, you're a leader. Mm, what's he doing? Chilling. The Star of Hope. Ooh, yes. Food for everybody. He is trying to bite his fist, ain't he? Yeah. Making me go here. Respect, but it's over. Ooh, a little extra. Mm. Don't let go. It's up for you. Mm. Oh, the fist still coming. Yeah. Oh, hey, talk all that talk if you want to. <laughs> oh, he didn't even make it the way ever he was going. <laughs> and they stood no chance. Mm -mm. No chance at all. Barehanded. 70 mil. Slight 70 M. First one. Hmm. Came out the gate at 70 mil. And he got drafted. Dang. Now that was a real humble 70 right there. Casual four piece. Yeah. He was skinny. Yeah. <laughs> mm, he was tired though. Maybe he was hungry. Nah, they just never ending, man. Oh, more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got him. Got him. <laughs> Too many of them. Oh. He's out of there. Broke out. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta get some real security on this guy, you know what I'm saying? How are they catching him? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Oh, he's hungry. Wow. Free food. Uh, That's why he was getting bread. locked up. <laughs> for a free meal. Dang, that makes sense. Dang. Mmm, he was only 15 right there. Uh, Definitely yeah, about 36. Is. Oh, that's how White Bear recruited him. Rock with your boy. Oh, mm. I came in the name of Rocks. Wow. Pull up with us. Mm. All Conquerors. Mm. Got an all-star team. He mm. was only 15. At God Valley. That's why Big Mom talked to him like a youngin. Ooh. Oh, oh she, she was here at full of lead. She didn't go. Mm. Mm. Put them hands on him. They ain't even mentioned, uh, Roger. Yeah. <sighs> Skinny mom. Right. They gotta show that. Yeah. Mmm, since God Valley. Ooh. Mm. She was probably out there in God Valley too with the rocks. And there's plenty of them in Wano. Correct. Oh, green. <laughs> Here's what she's spitting. Mm. The remnant of the rocks. I got something good for you today. A big opportunity. She got him going. For real, it gave him direction. He was just wondering at first. Right. She was a real demon, bro. And then look, moments later, you got all the water. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And who wins? Mm -hmm. Gotta knock me out in order to move on. Mm -hmm. Yes! Puffed his chest out. Yes! Added more stank to it. Yes! Look mm -hmm. at it. Oh, Onigashima falling apart. Oh. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's when they were talking about Joy Boy. 
the journal. Oh, oh. Mm, he broke through. It's up. That's what that meant. Went through the dragon where he was. I know who Joy Boy is. The one that's gonna beat me. Put me down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. According to the prophecies. Yeah, with that fist coming at him like that. Whoever opens the land. Oh. What is he doing? Out. Took off. Oh, he's leaving. Mm. I thought he was getting ready to interfere. Oh, that would've been crazy. Yes. He ain't a real one like his he homeboy. Real. He's gonna send his homeboy in death and then dip. That's crazy. He wasn't built like that. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Said it's beyond my pay grade. Right? Sent that man to a mission that he couldn't even accept himself. Right. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah. You can do it. Mmm. 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 Oh, we losing friends. Those are samurai. That's just a ricochet from what's happening on the above section, you know? Right, we still out here scrapping to the end. Mmm, <sighs> get out of here. Dang. Oh, he's calling. It's a real long hug now. Get up off my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Odin, looking from the heavens, man. Come on. <laughs> supposed to be my homie. Stop, bro. It's supposed to be my ace. That's Uncle Dendro. If you really wanted to hit, who would have been hit? That's what I'm saying. He's probably already seen her undressed once or twice in the process of switching out customers and stuff. Mm -mm. <laughs> nah, bro. I ain't gonna let you play them seeds on Dendro now. Not that one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying. She, he was uh -oh. definitely kicking it in her bedroom. Uh oh. Yeah, he's, well, he's playing casino we and thought, stuff. We thought that Fully was, closed. You thought it. He was Fully clothed. You thought he was the boyfriend for a second. Yeah, I did. Nice. Until I understand Long the hook. circumstance. Yeah, no, nah, that's It might cool. be accepted, though, in this culture. Maybe Odin would support that. You don't get your daughter. hours, daughters. We're done. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> We're done here. Oh, yeah, uh, say, yeah. friends. He can't. Dang, he can't. We <laughs> 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 just to say, friends. Him, too. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, a poo. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a rag doll. He's soft. <laughs> At the mercy of the waters. Lost consciousness. Yes. Mm. All the fire out. out. That ensures the dub, man. But a dub for the castle. Everybody got wins and didn't die. And fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Chopper need a savior too. Yeah. Mm. Wake up. Got him. Thank you. <laughs> Morning. Oh yeah, the smile. The smile, so. Yeah. Uh, he came up in love <laughs> with the hard eye <laughs> as he holds his boo. <laughs> He's swimming. <laughs> Horny. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. Kato's losing it. Yeah, he's going night night up there, bro. He's going night night up there. Oh, he's having Still fighting. Full concentrate? Yeah. Pump that island. That's what he said, essentially. Yeah. Protect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do it now. Right. You ain't got no time. Let's go. Lock in. Because they're going to die. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That full line of that thing. Oh, yeah. Go get it. Ooh. <laughs> it was like he was yeah, busting right clouds. Ooh. Ah. There you go. <laughs> it might have cracked out. There we go. Ah! Put it in there ready, yeah. Ooh, uh, got it. Uh, uh. Come here. He's still talking to us. Mm-hmm. Confident. Yes, please. <laughs> Bow. Ooh. Come here. Clocked him. That's what it looked like. Mm. About to start cheering for Luffy. Talking trash to him. <laughs> In the afterlife. You got yes. to Yes. The last two final prayers we needed. Yeah. <laughs> All of those who ain't prayed Insults. Mm, yeah, please shut up. He is biting the fist for real. Yeah. He made a big boy dragon. Mm. 
free Golden Corral for everybody. Mmm. Got a cough of them. Yeah, I got bigger on them. Pause. Pause. Uh, yeah, come here. Ooh. Ooh. Get your teeth off of me. He's moving the island good. Yes. Mm. Oh, you can't eat. Uh, Ooh. Ooh, breaking him down. There he goes. He's in there. Yeah. 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 yeah! Come here, boy! Oh, I oh, want to. Oh, 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 that was clean. Uh huh. Mm, the light flashing. Uh huh. Got here for what? Come here. With the same energy. Got him. Clocked him. You should have dodged. <laughs> Mm. Through one of hugged his chin for about five good seconds. Yeah, he felt all of that. Defeat yes. the scary dragon. Oh the man, the dreams to the sun god. He just sent the dragon down to the ground. Yeah, saw that big dust cloud. Oh, mm. basking in the dub. Oh. Is he conscious still? Nah. That mm, guy. Mm. Only Joy Boy can win. <laughs> yeah, because who's beating you, bro? Oh. Oh, we landed. Oh. Turn up. Mm. Wow. Place. We're finally made. Defeat that scary dragon is something different, boy. Is he falling? I look like it. Oh. Like it took everything. He's still falling in gear five, so he might land on some accidental rubber. rubber. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bounce right off the ground. Since he's still in gear five, mm. my mama might have to wake up and catch him before he hits the ground. <laughs> Dang, get him out of here. It has been an arc. Yes. It still ain't up though. Even though we just knocked out Kaido, you still got the man out here, but you got Zunisha out here, and maybe Zunisha gets the order from Momo to clear out the government ships, if we're getting that active. Everything was working out for us on this one. Yeah. Glad Momo got his life together. Yeah, it would have been cataclysmic. We got Kaido's backstory, a little bit of it. They showed us his backstory in different decades. Yeah, he skipped from kid. 10 to 15. Yeah to 25. Yeah, he did. That showed us that Kaido was the strongest in his nation when he was 10. Everybody was glazing him already. Mm -hmm. He got captured by the government and used as a bargaining tool by his nation to get access to the reverie so they could go before the Celestials. The Celestial Dragons were taxing them for the tribute. So they was broke all yeah. the time. Probably couldn't eat like they needed to, but because Kaido was hungry, he let himself get caught. But the king, like he was eating good. It was oh, all was over good. there by his palace, you know what I'm saying? But the people look bad. It was probably like a go of kingdom situation for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People Where you had them work. balling out there at the top, but then you got the trash heat, the hood, the projects, and they had that situation. They had them working though. Kaido got locked up. And we heard before that Kaido got locked up like 14 times. And even then I wonder like if he the strongest, how he get captured 14 times. Yeah. But he allowed himself to get locked up for free shelter and food. Cause them Navy ships got good meals. Right, I hope they cooking Salisbury steak tonight. Yeah. That was man. busting last time. Heck yeah, I'm running through the kitchen. <laughs> Before he got locked up, hey, what's on the menu tonight? Yeah. Well, bro, after we beat you up, we got macaroni and cheese, Salisbury steak, the turkey with the gravy on the side, and mashed potatoes. Perfect. Say less. Man, <laughs> <laughs> you gonna hit me or what? <laughs> Somebody hit him. Oh, that was a good one. One, everybody thought he was him. Yeah, bro, that was me. Tell everybody about it. I took that kind of. So yeah, they were feeling gassed up every time they called him and then realized he just using us for food, man. It's not even cool at this point. Imagine if Garp got to him at 10 or something. Then again, Garp never has the best look trying to mold conquerors into becoming righteous men in the Navy. They don't listen to nobody. They don't listen. They got that thug in them, that fellow conqueror, and I just can't do it, bro. Now when I know it's getting too shady up there. Right. Them Celestials and stuff, I can't do it, bro. Kobe was his perfect situation. 
Yeah, for yeah. Real. Kobe was the perfect I situation. Got from the ground up, I ain't never trying to work with nobody that's strong already. Right. <laughs> or confident. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Kobe was a broken man when guard pulled up on him. You know, he was getting his confidence up to join the Navy, but it was a process dealing with Helena uh, Poe and uh -huh. Morgans and stuff. It was never pretty. He was just a janitor. Yeah. Went from a janitor to vice admiral status. Trying to become an admiral. Didn't he say he wanted to be an admiral or a fleet admiral? He said something crazy like that, yeah. Garp's getting him there. Because he got crazy observation. His physique is starting to get there. His hands is getting better. Hands are getting nicer. And then Garp gonna teach you how to use your hockey all the way. I feel like it make your head harder getting hit by a guard. Oh, yeah. So just getting those lessons in that way is good enough for it. You to be strong enough to go out here and not get hurt by a lot of people. Uh-huh. I can see Kobe getting stole on and him looking and saying, these punches ain't nothing compared to my boy Garp. The way Uncle Garp used to hit me. <laughs> Those same hands went out there and boxed up rocks and Kaido, according to the news. Right, right. <laughs> but Whitebeard Rocks. recruited Kaido. Yep. Saw him out there thugging at 15. Rocks told Whitebeard to go get him, bro. They got to go to the backstory of the Rocks and the allure of him. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the black Blackbeard mystique about him, just on a different level, maybe too. 20 years too soon, 46 years too soon. But then it's a matter of if it's multiple wheels going on at once. You got the will of D, the righteous will of D, and then you got the ratchet will of D. Mm -hmm. Could be like Joy Boy's brother or different side of the same coin type ordeal. Yeah. Like Blackbeard and Luffy now. That D get through regardless. Right. If we gotta do it the good way or the evil way, we gonna get through. Right. So you got Joy Boys, Will of D, traveling all the way through Luffy. Then you got somebody else's that we haven't been introduced to yet. Yeah. Within the Will of Ds. That's been a problem since the jump. Yeah, Even way back to Joy Boy. He done passed it down to Blackbeard. They're in the internal conflict within yeah. the bloodlines of the Ds. But Rox had it and it was a crazy allure just like Blackbeard has it. And it's a crazy allure. You can't help but build super teams with those. And what you call to say? He want to be the king of the pirates too. Blackbeard. That's he his did. goal. He did. But he also got other things in mind too. He has another dream. Just like Luffy wants to be king of the pirates and has another dream that they don't say on camera like that. Just like Kaido said, what kind of world are you trying to create? I want a world where my friends can eat as much as they want to. Mm. It was food induced. And I still think that's a part of his mm -hmm. ultimate goal. I want to eliminate world hunger altogether. And that's fire. All of them got some type of thing that they want to, a world they want to create. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't get to this level without having a world creator mind at this point. Kaido just wanted a world of violence. Who yeah. made him like that? Hey, simple. Momo. Momo helped push Kaido to the edge. Yeah. She's a grade A demon. Yeah. That's part of her conqueror like manipulation of. I think Momo was a part of the rocks and she pulled up on Kaido. She knew the right one to pull up on. After it all disbanded. Right, right. I'm probably Kaido later because you got the best hands, young man. Wasn't that crazy 10 years ago? It was sad what happened. Mm. But let's show them the remnants, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real, because all y'all going to be the top of everything. But she planted some wicked seeds, and Kaido was already kind of there anyway. She was talking about, you know, violence rules, and if the weak aren't strong enough to beat the strong, and they got to be used. Like, yep. You right. <laughs> <laughs> She put them on game with the whole Wano situation. Wee, materials. Yeah, the new world is a place called Wano. Government can't even touch it. Free reign over everything. Sea prison and stuff everywhere. I'm making plays already over there. Resources available to you. I got a perfect co-partner for you. <laughs> he the president. <laughs> and Big Mom gave him the fruit that made him turn into a dragon, so I wonder if he was in dragon mode out there in God Valley, or did she give that to him a little later? We don't know the circumstance of a young 15-year-old Kaido out there in God Valley. She was acting like she is caretaker. You know what I'm saying? Where did that Kaido go? Like she chasing some bad chap and just keep getting missing. <laughs> yeah, and I'm pretty sure he's stronger now than what he was in God Valley. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Probably learn more about his conquerors. You know, he had to learn. The homies. We got disbanded by the feds. Kaido was one hell of a villain. Yeah, I ain't gotta see the finisher though, bro. We ain't got no confirmations yet. We got to see him slump, bloody, on his deathbed, apologize. It definitely felt like the final punch. He don't pump fake on that final punch stuff. He doesn't. When he calls it. He calls it, bro. He calls it. Dang, everything changes now. Luffy's a big dog. He worth a good 5.5 billion. And then if he's out in the open with his fruit and they know it's the Sun God model, like everybody knows, naturally the lore, everything's gonna put him up there. Oh no, I bet they're not gonna let that hit the news though. Might not have no choice. Because they're going to wonder, how the heck did you beat Kaido? Right. With what you had. We thought you was a rubber man. What's happening? The whole Shaw gang going to go up because we just went into Kaido's house, beat Kaido, 
they walk down a lot. Oh, and then you got CP0 to report everything that happened because they were getting the play-by-play -play from the Marys. So-and-so just beat King. So-and-so yeah. just beat Queen. So-and-so just beat Black Maria. With every Toby Ropo that got beat down, CP0 was there to cure it all yep. before they got active. They're gonna run Luffy up even higher because he just beat Kaido. They might say Luffy worth eight billion. There might be two Emperor positions open right now. Because I think you take an L, you lose your position usually. Yeah, yeah. Can't fire them. They just gonna go get up and go somewhere different. They got knocked down. You take that L, you lose status. You can't even replace him with nobody appropriate. Luffy? Oh, wait. Kid and Mom, because they beat Big Mom. They beat Big Mom, but that's two people vowing for one position. Mm. And then they both needed each other to make it happen, so. And now it's a five emperor system. Still. So you got the five emperors. Luffy, Law, Kid, Blackbeard, and Shanks. Well, they say Luffy was the fifth emperor, but that was just a tabloid written by Morgans, trying to piss them off. Hey man, he did his thing. He created a whole other position. Kaido called it though. I'm gonna tell you who Joy Boy is. All right. Joy Boy the one that beat me. <laughs> Cause if Joy Boy is supposed to free the land and I'm taking over the land, the only way they can take over the land is to knock me out. Yeah. So that's how we know who Joy Boy is, all right? This is my house forever. And King gave it up. Oh, well then Joy Boy ain't pulling up. <laughs> <laughs> Can't nobody see my dog. That's crazy. I was believing in something fake, wasn't uh, I? Yeah. Ted, cause you're not leaving here. We ain't leaving here, are we? Obviously a fairy tale. I think Kaido will wake up a changed man. They all do, bro. He will. He's gonna wake up a changed man. He gonna take some psychotic meds for those flashes that he had. I don't know. Head. I don't know. I don't think Rob Lucci changed. He still seems pretty cold. He's still working with CP0. Went from CP9 to CP0. He's yeah. still working with the Celestials. You don't change Marines, bro. They different. But you change pirates all the time. Pirates are free to change. You don't change Marines? Marines, no, Marines change. Marines. Fuji tour. Fuji was looking out for us. He still body Sabo if he body Okaji. Sabo. Okaji was looking out for us. Okay, Okaji's the only one, but he got fired completely. Fuji tour. Fuji tour only did what he had to with Sabo because they pulled up at the Reverie. Regardless, he did his job, and that's not changed. Well, he could have captured Luffy and Zoro and them. He liked them. And then he had... So he changed. That's what I'm saying. He worked on a Marine. But he still went to his higher ups to make sure he made the change he wanted to the way the right way. We need to get rid of this warlord system because I see he a lot of pirates Luffy acting up. He could have captured Luffy and he chose not to drop because the... Because of something that we did. No, so he lied and said that... He didn't that really ever change. He, he just, lied and said that they got out of his range. Did he? Yeah, because he had the gravity meteor above his head with all yeah. the stuff yeah. that was going to drop on him. And then he dispersed it away from him and didn't drop it on any ship because he saw the joy off the people and the spirit and them lying, making it seem like Luffy's a bad guy, but he could see that they was lying. There was body shields. I didn't want to kill innocents. No, that was already on the ship, remember? That was far away from the innocent. That was on the ships taking off. And he let them go. You know what I'm saying? He could have dropped them off right there and ended the journey. But well, instead, he let them rock, just like you said. He wait, Marines let people go all the time, bro, based off their own personal conviction. Let pirates go all the time? Yes. Big Bounty, Luffy, a kind of telling you you can't come back until you got Garp his head on go. the platter? That's his grandson. <laughs> I'm just saying, Garp let him and go. And he wanted him to save Ace. You know Okaji what I'm saying? let That's him go. Okaji, Okaji definitely let him go. He uh, stalled us out. Uh, but uh, still made it tough for us because he sent the order with CP9. So he still made us work. It still wasn't fun. Okaji still applied the pressure. <laughs> We never knew we had an admiral working on our side. How could you let people go since he was young, man? He let young Robin go. You know what I'm saying? He still froze his homeboy. <sighs> still snatched up Saul because of that. He's big. You can't You can't hide that. One little devil get out of here. I don't want to hear you reading no poneglyphs. I don't want to see your face in the news. You understand me? Get on that boat. Get the still. Like, he was on her neck, bro. It wasn't calm. And she left. She, 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 she. Crying. Okay, okay, okay. He was a boogeyman. And when she saw him again in the future, you gotta run away from him. It wasn't vibes and cool vibes. It was always dark with Okaji. You know what I'm trying to say, though, bro. They still, <laughs> they still go to bed and wake up the next day as a Marine. You know what I'm saying? They gotta get back to the celestial business. Yeah, and that's all there is to it. They stick uh, to celestial business. But Luffy been able to mold and win over Marines, though. That was my only point, though. You say he changes pirates, but he changes Marines, too. They see that, all right, he writes a smoker. Smoker's another one. Garp still wake up on Marines. Smoker's Marine. another one. Smoker is definitely another Got one. Got smoker. So anybody he come across, bro, he's gonna change. That's Luffy. That's the Luffy effect. That's the Luffy all right, factor. Fire, all right, yeah. fire, fire, fire. The Luffy factor. Yeah, definitely. So Kaido's definitely waking up and he's gonna be like, not like caribou, but he's gonna be know. a proud uncle, bro. Proud uncle. That's gonna be proud uncle Kaido. And if you in a situation, sparring partner. 
<laughs> right, right. You know I was carrying on the gush. Right? Yeah. All right, let's talk about it. I fought the non. Don't forget the nine. I killed you twice. <laughs> they was running with you, bro. <laughs> they literally picked up your body multiple times and ran with you, bro. I could have been killed you a long time ago. And then I really did kill you, bro. Explain to me what you did later, because you had no answers for me. You thought you was dead. I thought you was dead. I heard so, your voice go. You needed God to beat me, bro. <laughs> all right. That's all I'm saying. Did I lose? I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> That's debatable. But I want to tell you, I'm proud of you. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna get emotional because that is. That, that, that's a ridiculous power you got. Man. Yeah, we can't be friends with him. It's too soon. If he wake up mad, though, we still got a fight on our hands. When this Luffy saw Crocodile, don't you let him out mm -hmm. that cell. <laughs> don't you do it, Jinbei. That's it was <laughs> real dark. He was dark, bro. So there's a level of darkness. It's about what he did to his friends. Mm-hmm. More than anything. To the nation. It was what he was doing to the nation. To the nation, yeah. And that's why we were well, so Kaido aggressive against Kaido. Kaido. Yeah. Kaido was doing terrible things to this nation. True. For 20 years, even longer than Crocodile. You've been uh -huh. sending way longer than Crocodile. You endorse some of the worst people. You're not invited to the banquet. Yeah, for real. We're not inviting you to the cookout. None of that, bro. Uh... Yeah, I enjoyed fighting you and it was the best time of my life, but that's besides the point. We can't have a fighting relationship. I can't. You're going to have to pull up to the Armageddon War at the end and make up for your sins that way. I'm not going to tell you to do that. That's the only way you're going to get any compliments from me. Because I'm going to need you in that big fight. It's <laughs> the real enemy of the right. world, yeah. Everybody does become an ally, usually. Everyone's an ally. Not Spandom yet. Ugh, I wouldn't even want him. him. Not with Paul. That's what I'm saying. We don't fool with the Marine. We don't fool with the, with the ops. They're the real ops. Any Marines. When we beat a Kainu, I don't expect him to wake up and not be a Kainu. He's going to still be a Kainu. I guarantee it. A Kainu's going to be true and true to the end. Yeah. When it comes to this pirate hate, a Kainu's going to try to melt your face and off. And the day when Fuji has to be Fuji, he gonna still be Fuji, bro. He just let us slide that time because it's nah. just just roasting, bro. If it ain't it's morally right, Fuji will go against the grind for real. I can see Fuji becoming a pirate. Before he continues to be a Marine. I can see Fuji being the real Fuji that we are terrified of because he had to be because now you're coming against the Celestials. Fuji just changed the game for humanity's sake. That's why we don't want to use no pirate help. That's real. That's good. But if it came down to him seeing the Celestials being the source of a lot of corruption and they're the ones that control the Navy, I could see Fuji jumping ship for sure. You know why they, you know why though? They got like a propaganda that they probably use but he didn't realize it was like that until he got to Dress Rosa. When Fuji decided to become a Marine, he didn't know it was as dark with the cover-ups and the dark justice and warlords rolling. He did something about it. But if he was to know that they pulling all these strings, including the Kainus, and it came down to a war of good versus evil, I could see him jumping on the right path, the right side. I can't see him being a celestial lap He's gonna be manipulated, all of them are. There's got to be a reason why Garp's still working with him. He know the truth. That's because whatever right. it is, it's powerful and it's and it's scary and we don't want Luffy to succeed. Well, that's because most pirates aren't <sighs> Luffy. Most pirates need to be protected from. Most pirates are pulling up to your village, raiding it, mm -hmm. taking it hostage. Most pirates are ratchet. So mm -hmm. we can't just see a good, wholesome group of pirates like we've been watching this whole journey and think that's the motif for all the pirates out there in this pirate life. They needed to be protected from. So that's why you got your guards. That's why you got your Fuji's out there. Okay. Doing what they should be doing. Righteous justice. You think Garp know what's happening though, right? He does know what's happening. That's why he ain't never go to an admiral or a fleet admiral. He just stayed why, at a VA. Why he want to race Luffy as a Marine? So he, he feel be a like whatever the heck, he feel like whatever it is that the Elder Stars got going on, even though I can't stand them, they probably doing it for the better good of the world. Versus- Nah, it's limiting the evil of the Celestials from the inside. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. By being in here, I can change up the whole system and have the warlords disbanded. We can destroy the warlord system. But as a pirate, you go and bring your proof of warlords cutting up and stuff. Ain't nobody gonna hear you. Mm -hmm. But since I'm already in the inside, mm -hmm. you already got an opportunity to change more from within. I let the ones live that need to live. Breed the good ones up. Limit how many bad apples are mm. being evil Navy Marines okay. and this, that, and the third. Or evil Navy pirates. Evil like pirates. your Virgos, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah. got all kinds of situations. So if you could really uphold what y'all supposed to be doing and not take advantage of people, you know, there's good and bad within all groups, but that's why Garp can change it from within. Mm. And make sure he training up. Everybody that come through here gotta go through Camp Garp. I'm gonna get you right, because if I find out, that you taking advantage of people. So help me, I'm gonna beat your face off. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with one of these, just one. <laughs> and you're not coming back. 
<laughs> so he not coming back. Guard can do that to them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From within, yeah. and he ain't got to go in there in secret meetings and see the Celestials. Because if you're an admiral or a fleet admiral, you're getting summoned to the Elder Star. Kainu has to see their faces. Gark couldn't contain himself. I'm ready to see what happens next. Mm -hmm. Everything is only up from here. And down and all around. Yeah. The world's getting flipped upside down right now. Can't wait for these new bounties, cuz. Good episode. Looking forward to the next time that your boys were out. The difference between us is scale so vividly obvious. While in the studio, I become Uber, and then I start treating the beat like the mafia. You think the nearest just holler Jakarta's cause fire is proceeding from heaters and sophagus. Me and my partners all represent Charlotte, the city that's North Carolina's metropolis. And we've been patiently waiting to display our greatness, showcasing our lyrical dominance. And it be